How do you fly on console in Skyrim? I've had a few questions since the latest Thor in Skyrim episode both on YouTube and even Instagram as well. Several people have been asking questions about the method that I use so I figured it's just easier to make this video than try to explain every single thing in writing. And also let me say this is a very makeshift solution and it isn't very immersive and it doesn't have the best functionality in the world but it's the best that I've seen on console. What is this flying mod? Well actually there is no technical flying mod on console because actual flying script can only be handled by PC, so what we're actually going to need to do is combine the features of two different mods. The first one is one that I'm sure you own if you're on Xbox, it's the Cheat Room by Brayden M1. The second one that you'll need is called Pecker's Animations. Of course I will be putting the links down in the description. This video is really catering to Xbox users because PS4 sadly does not have access to these mods and if you're on PC then you can find much better flying solutions than what we're about to do. Also shout out to Midhand Gaming, he's actually where I got this idea from, I will link his original video in the description as well. So once you have both mods installed, use the cheat teleport spell to teleport to the cheat room. Over here you'll find a chest with a whole bunch of cheat rings. What you need to grab is the toggle collisions cheat ring, the cheat TCL. And you can also pick up the cheat ring that multiplies your speed as well. That is not required, but you're about to see what we can do with it too. Next you need to go to any forge and use a couple of gold ingots and craft the puppeteer figure under the miscellaneous tab. Now is this going to look super realistic? No, it's not. But hopefully it'll serve the purpose that you need. So equip the toggle collisions ring and then select the puppeteer figure which will be under apparel. Using that puppeteer figure there are actually several animations that you can use with this mod if you want to mess around with it once we're done. But right now what we are looking for is the swim animation. Once you've selected swim you can now glide, fly, or basically swim through the air. But now you can literally go wherever you want. Of course it looks like swimming rather than flying but this is the best that a console can do at the moment. If you want to move faster then you can always use the speed multiplying ring like I mentioned earlier. So there are a few more downsides to this whole event unfortunately. While swimming you can't draw your weapon so you're stuck swimming until you open up the figure again and reset yourself. While you are in the air in that swimming and emotion you can hear sloshing water. So that can kind of break immersion a little bit too. With that being said, if you want to fight something in the air, you cannot be in that swimming animation, so you have to get out of it, and then you just kind of look like you're running through the air. Now you may be saying, eh, that's fine, it looks goofy, but it'll work. Sadly, the toggling collision ring also affects all NPCs, so whenever it's active, people struggle to move and dragons freeze in motion. If you have any followers, they will be stuck in place and they cannot follow you. If you have an animated wings mod, maybe you can make it look a little more believable, but unfortunately, this is the best console can do at the moment. If you have any additional comments, leave them down below. Subscribe if you're new for more console modding content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Slayer signing out.